It's unique legislation. Uh, Humboldt Broncos Memorial Fund came to court today to use that legislation to accomplish three things. They sought, first of all, um, expedited access to the court system to enable them to um, implement an allocation process in a matter of months through the court system rather than years, which would otherwise be the case without this law. They also sought a, a public process that would be transparent, so the allocation decision would be made in public. And they sought uh, protection from liability for the volunteer decision makers who are ordinary citizens trying to do the right thing. And the professionals involved, the lawyers, the accountants and the money managers have uh, volunteered their time pro bono at no cost. And so it was those reasons that brought us to court and it was uh, a good outcome to see those accomplishments achieved today. Uh, I think, I wouldn't want to say very pleased, but good to see that it's moving forward. I think uh, all the people that uh, were affected by the tragedy who felt uh, the need to do something and, and to give some money to the, to the people on the bus um, probably wanted to see it move forward expeditiously. And, and uh, I don't think anybody in their wildest dreams imagined that it would, it would get to be as large as it was. And unfortunately, when things get to be that big, um, things take time. And... Uh, this is the process that it that we have to undertake and uh and now we're at that point to to slowly start moving forward with that so it's good every one of us feels especially uh, the ones that lost our loved ones that there's no no amount of money that can bring the bring our loved ones back so to try and put a number on that i, I have absolutely no opinion on that like i said we're we're just so thankful for anything that finds its way to us and and the good people in saskatchewan canada and throughout the world who who felt the need to do something and be a part of this, who, who clearly were, had their hearts ripped out too. Um, we're just so thankful that, that people felt the need to be involved and, and to do something good for the, the families that went through this tragedy. Well, I think there's a number of different ideas within the, the group. Um, each family is obviously gonna have a different way or a different idea of how they can use the money. Um, I, I believe that there's discussion of scholarships and, and uh, ways to memorialize their, their child and also you know you keep it in mind that some of these people um, involved were were um, the primary breadwinner for their family so obviously you know that's a factor that we need to consider and uh, that uh, we'll be up to the advisory committee to keep in mind. Oh, absolutely. I'm confident. And I think this is the, from what I understand, this is precisely why this legislation was brought forward. And this is the first time it was challenged. And that's kind of why I was here today, just to be a part of it so that I understand it. And if there's an opportunity for us to um, to speak on our, our our son's behalf, then, then we're going to take it. And, and there was a couple of things there today that we wanted to make sure that, that we had our voices heard at a few different points throughout this process. And, and in the end, that's what this is for. Uh, the judge and, and the people that are involved are, are going to make fair and objective decisions. And, and whatever happens at the end, we've said right from the start that, uh, that we're going to consider it a gift. And we're going to be so thankful for anything that comes of this. And, uh, and we're going to trust in the process. And, and there's going to be good people in there that make good decisions. And, and whatever finds its way to us, we're going to be more than thankful for. Um, I, I believe that the the data collection people or you know they've, they've got a job in front of them speaking and interviewing with the families um, obviously as a result of the court process today there's some families that will will wish to speak the advisory committee themselves um, it's not going to be an easy job I, I think you know there's the advisory committee could very well face criticism um, as a result of some of the things that they put forward or what, what, what their end result is but uh, um, you know I, I I believe in the process and I believe we have the right people around the table to get it done.